Okay, hi, hey, hi, hey, from the Little Red Rocket. Don't worry, the jokes are coming. Climb aboard the Little Red Rocket and let's ride. Mm. Any hoot and holler, hi. How are you? How high are you? So high. I'm here. Don't get excited, please. Before I left the nest, there was this stress from the home office <coughs> about doing some sort of another round of WTMK. Now, Spirit knows I hate this shit. Spirit also knows I will do it eventually. If it's on the agenda, there's a reason. So, okay, I put myself out there. I don't like it. I like singing. That's why the stress on singing, there was this, this focus on things that lift me up and make me feel like me, like help me loosen up. And it actually came up because I was playing with my stick the this yeah, that doesn't help the serpent one the, my stick over two moments like three or four people made comments about it and I don't know what to tell people it's just a thing I do uh, and I'll save that story for another time because we're here for another reason anyway and so singing does lift me up I enjoy singing let me let me rephrase that I like to sing I hate singing. I like the process and the experience of, of singing. I enjoy it. I hate doing it for people. Yet, here we are. It was a slow driving day. It was a very slow driving day. Uh, and so I decided I would just suck it up and do this. Get it done. Because I have to edit it and clip it and everything else, so... <laughs> I did try a couple of different times and a couple of different methods and, and I've just not really been happy with anything. Nothing's really been like, okay, yeah, we can use that. I mean, I don't want to use any of it personally, but I've said no before and I've seen what happens. So I might as well just say yes and get it over with because it's going to happen whether I like it or not. So I tried, and I, I just wasn't finding anything that I, I, I really wanted to work with. Finally, uh, Spirit came across uh, with, it, it kind of gave me an offer that I couldn't refuse. Uh, this week, <laughs> Tuesday in fact, is Craze's birthday. He would have been 87, I believe, yes, 87. Uh, and probably on stage for 73 years <laughs> by this point because <laughs> he wasn't stopping until he was dead. So uh, and that was very clear. So we're going to do a sort of tribute kind of WTMK, a WTMK craze tribute. I have seven songs, one for each day. It started at five. I don't know why five is the magic number for these things. And I did try five, but five was hard. Seven was hard. It was hard to choose only seven. I have a list of songs. And there's a whole nother list of songs that I don't know yet. Songs I've forgotten. Uh, there's a song on here that I had forgotten that he had done until I heard it one day and was like, wait a minute. Um, so one for each day. And uh, I'll give you a sort of like little intro as to why this is one of the songs I chose. Because again, there's an extensive list I could have chosen from and it was hard <coughs> <coughs> to narrow it down to these seven. There were a couple I gave up that I, I would have liked to have used, but I felt like these seven were the, the ones. Uh, and so we're going to do this. I do have a warm up song. And then uh, I'm going to let it randomly choose the song. 
And I will just post them in that order. All right. I really don't want to do this. All right, give me a moment. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> so, this is the song that I had forgotten Dad had done. And when I was originally thinking about talking about doing this, I, yeah, I mean, I am in no way, shape, or form the entertainer, and especially the singer that my father was. I am an actor. I am an actor who every once in a while can act like he can sing. Every once in a while. So, <laughs> this is actually a good number for me. I don't know. I feel like I might have done this one with him at one point. He only did it for like one season, I think. It's such a good number. All right, here we go. Well, I guess it was back in 2003 when eating my cooking got the better of me. So I asked this little girl I was going with to be my wife. <laughs> well, she said she wouldn't, so I said I'd do. But I just said I wouldn't if I'd have just knew how I was saying I'd do what's going to screw up all my life. The first few years weren't all that bad. I'll never forget the good times we had. Because I'm reminded every month when I send her the child support. Well, it wasn't too long till the lust all died, and I admit I wasn't too surprised. The dad come home and found my suitcase sitting out on the porch. I tried to get in, but she changed the lock, and then I found this note taped on the mailbox that said, Goodbye, turkey! My tunny would be in touch. So I decided right then and there I was going to do what's right, give her her fair share. But brother, oh, I didn't know she was going to be that much. She got the gold mine, I got the shell. I split her right down the middle, and she got the better half. It all sounds sort of funny, but it hurts too much to laugh. She got the gold mine, I got the shaft. Now listen, you ain't heard nothing yet. Why they give her the color television set, and then they give her the house, the kids, and both of the cars, see? Well, then they start talking about child support and alimony and the cost of the corn. <laughs> Didn't take long to figure out how far the toilet I was. <laughs> I'm telling you, they have made a mistake, because it adds up to more than this cowboy makes. Besides anything I ever had worth taking, they've already took. While she's living like a queen on alimony, I'm working two shifts, eating bologna, asking myself, now why didn't you just learn how to cook? She got the gold mine, I got the shell. They said they're splitting it down the middle, then they give her the better half. It all sounds sort of funny, but it hurts too much to laugh. She got the gold mine, I got the shell. She got the gold mine, I got the shell. They split it right down the middle, and she got the better half. It all sounds sort of funny, but it hurts too much to laugh. She got the gold mine, I got the shell. Uh, you ain't kidding, I got the shell. <laughs> well, I guess I don't have to worry about carrying a billfold no more. <laughs> then my wife told it, I'm gonna be carrying food stamps. <laughs> you get it, dead judge? <laughs> food stamps. <laughs> Not funny, huh? <laughs> 